you start questioning yourself with the ability to close oh, the game. My. That's a chance at a four-point play. Look out, we might still have a ball game. Unbelievable. Vicky L. Great knocked block. away. Great block by Wallace. But the putback is good, and we're 10 again. See Greenman against the much taller front line of that press. And a throw away. The pressure created it. The crowd back into it with under four and a half left. And you can see a little lack of confidence right now against the pressure from the Tigers. Big three for Piccio. We got a six-point game. Have we seen this before? We have seen it before. Except this time, the place is going berserk. I don't know how much louder this building can get. That is 15 to 2 for Pennsylvania. Venable didn't panic. And he found the tallest guy to hit with a pass, but then Logan walks. Stanley trying to get inside position and does. That's not the big man he's set up on anymore. Defensive help arrives, but a little late, and the shot tickles the rim and falls. Three-point game. And look at that. Begley picked the pocket. Back the other way. The easy lay, and we have got a one-point game. They're looking for him. Danley hangs on. Oh, they called it on Wallace. They called it on Wallace. Earlier in the game, he got away with a hook. This time, Joe DeMeo says the hook is on him, and his ball game is over. And just made one out of two, so we've got a two-point game. Osmondson quickly on the run, blocked away, but he's fouled with 31.1 to go. And Osmondson will now go to the free throw line. That is number four on Stevens. If this game were to go beyond regulation, Princeton might not have somebody to put in the middle for the tie. 56 all with 31.1 to go. Logan, just one second to go. He stripped, and we're going overtime. Jabber on the turnaround. First lead of the game for Penn. Jabber finds the open man. Fickiel got the three. And Fickiel has given him a big lift off the bench. He's hit a couple big threes coming down the stretch. He's now got 11. Blue right here. And one of those weapons posted inside. And it doesn't work that way. Jabber extends the pen lead to three. Heating this place. Bagley hand in his that face. Uh oh! Oh my! Penn calls for the quick timeout. Begley hits the bank shot. No, he didn't call it. No, he doesn't care. And Penn answers with a miracle of their own. Grand Dunphy's team finishes the game with a 35 to 9 run. And they beat Princeton to go to 5-0 in the Ivy League. What an incredible comeback tonight here at the Palestine.